Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So if you're on the lookout for a decent monitor which supports 120 FPS gaming for the PS5, then I here have a really good one from Acer. This is the Acer Predator with a very long model name behind it, which I'll display on the screen. But yes, let's check out everything about this monitor and see how it performs both for gaming and work stuff. So this monitor costed me 150 pounds on Amazon and what you get for the price is an absolute bargain. Let's quickly unbox and set this up. I'll pull everything out of the box, then we can go through each one of them. First, cables. We have the power and USB cable. Next, we have the display cable, then HDMI. Acer certainly does not skimp on cables. They include everything. We also have manuals next. Then we have the base of the stand. So you get this three pronged base with the third prong a bit shorter than the other two. And this feels really sturdy. And then we have the stem. Now this is heavy, certainly heavier than the monitor screen itself. And wow, this is definitely built to last. Onto the monitor next, we have a 25 inch monitor here with matte finish screen, the top flippy sticker shows you the spec of this monitor. Let's look at the ports. First off, let's peel this and it reveals the branding underneath. First, we have the location for the stand slot and then it also takes Visa mounts. We then have the power port. Next, we have two HDMI 2.0 ports. Next to that is the display port. Then we have the audio output along with USB ports. We here have one USB 3.0 in and three USB 3.0 ports out. You have controls to this side along with this joystick kind of a button. Plus there's a slot for Kensington lock as well. At the bottom, we have two downward firing speakers to either sides. Let's install the stand. It's a simple case of screwing the base in first. Let's peel this off and slot it into position. It clicks into the right place. And here is the monitor on its stand. This feels really sturdy and the design looks awesome as well. Perfect for your gaming setup. So here we go. It is on my desk now. Okay, the adjustment which this stand offers is simply amazing. You can get decent height adjustment along with tilt adjustment. And you can also do orientation adjustment, guys. See, I've tried budget monitors before and the stand which you get on them were totally awful. But this one is simply brilliant. I'm super impressed at how good this is and all the different adjustments it offers. You also have a cable management slot at the back. Now, let's hook it up to my PlayStation 5. And here we go. It needed a little bit of clarity adjustment. And here's the monitor connected to my PS5. Now, right away, the standard modes, the colors feel a bit muted, but when I choose HDR from the color profile, things got dramatically better. Actually, I didn't like the standard modes, which this monitor offers. HDR for me was the right colors, which I was looking for. Now, menu controls are very simple. They're easily accessible as well, and you get the options displayed on the display against the button. So it's pretty simple to choose the right one. So picture modes, you do get standard eco, graphics, action, racing, sports, but most of them have got muted colors for my taste. I'm leaving it on HDR mode, especially for gaming as the colors pop out so much and it looks amazing. And then from the menu, you have other controls like volume, source, etc. Now, here is how the speakers sound. I have to admit that they are very basic and if you are after a decent sound, then it's better to get external speakers. The speakers on the Dell monitor, which I tested on my channel before, were far superior to these ones, but that monitor costs almost double to what this one costs. So you'll have to make the sacrifice, guys. Now, what you do not have to sacrifice is that higher refresh rate. I had to dig through the menu to find it. First, it was on the PS5 settings and then it is on the game itself. 
I am playing Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Collection for the PS5 here and I've chosen the option to display the frame rate on the screen so you can see this one is on full 120 FPS mode. And guys, it really makes a huge difference. Everything feels so smooth. I know Uncharted was not made ground up for the PS5, but future PS5 exclusive games that support full 120 FPS are going to be awesome on this monitor. Even with Uncharted, I really enjoyed this. See, I played these games on PS4 before on standard 60 FPS and on a standard monitor without high refresh rates. But with this Acer one, I can certainly tell the difference. I seriously wish all future games supported high refresh rates. This certainly feels like the difference between an iPad Air and an iPad Pro. Specs wise, this is a full HD monitor with 1920 by 1080p resolution. It supports up to 144 hertz refresh rate. So if you got the right machine, you can utilize its full potential. The aspect ratio is 16 is to 0 with 1000 is to 1 contrast ratio. The monitor offers an insane 2ms response rate so you can enjoy that immediate response with all your online FPS shooters. This is an LED monitor with IPS panel type and it also offers adaptive sync with G-Sync compatibility. The viewable area is 24.5 inches and the screen gives you wide viewing angle along with blue light shield and HDR. Now, this monitor is simply amazing for gaming, but it is not too bad for work related stuff as well. I here have the monitor connected to my Windows laptop via HDMI. And at this point, I've been using this monitor for almost a month, both for work related stuff and for gaming. And I'm really happy with it. When connected to the laptop, the standard picture modes are perfect, but for gaming, I always keep it on HDR. Also, the stand works brilliantly here as you can adjust the height exactly to match your laptop screen borders. The USB ports are super useful as well, especially the ones on the side as you can charge things like your phones, earbuds, or even the PlayStation 5's DualSense controller with it. Now, I know this is a full HD monitor and not one of the 4K monitors with HDMI 2.1 ports, but those monitors are still very pricey and can cost upwards of 800 pounds. Added to that, the distance from which you're going to sit and work or play in front of this monitor, 4K will probably be an overkill. The full HD resolution which this monitor offers is very decent and the picture looks stunning. Here's some Netflix for you and even the viewing angles are perfect. All in all, this is a very decent monitor and for the price which I paid, which is £150 on Amazon, this is really an amazing bargain. You'll get that full HD resolution supporting up to 144 refresh rate with 2ms response rate. You get all the ports needed along with spare USB ports which are super useful. Plus, to top it off all with, you get an amazing, totally versatile stand. Yes, you do have to compromise on the speakers, but it is like this with most monitors in this price range. So guys, that's the Acer Predator monitor and it's an amazing value for money monitor if you're looking for high refresh rates with your PlayStation 5 gaming. So that's all for the video, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you are enjoying my content, please like and subscribe to my channel so I can keep making these videos for you. And as always, thanks a lot for staying with me until the end. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.